Wednesday night, the first guilty plea is made in the hazing death of a Penn State fraternity pledge. And New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signs legislation to toughen up the state's gun laws. But the big story in action news tonight is a small plane crashing into the woods of South Jersey. The Hawker Beechcraft 58 Baron went down at 9.30 this morning, killing both people on board. Action News reporter John Rollins is live near the crash site in the 1100 block of Smithville, Jacksonville Road in Springfield Township. That's Burlington County. John, what have you learned there today? Well, we learned that the plane was based at a local airport in Lumberton. Employees at that airport knew the pilot. As you look down at the scene here, authorities have not yet released the names of the two dead. Both are men. We spoke with one witness, though, who was driving down this road at the time of the crash. It's unexplainable. When I was, if I was speeding, I would have probably been hit. When I was coming up to it, I was probably about maybe 50 to 70 yards away from it when, the, uh, when I saw the huge just cloud of smoke. And I saw what looked like a shadow of the plane through the smoke when it got crashed. Garrett Rodriguez Marabona stopped his car, called police, and made this video. At first, he wasn't sure what had happened. Slowly, it dawned on him he was in the middle of an airplane crash site. There was paper everywhere. Um, I saw a shoe, a lot of metal, um, broken some wires, up metal. broken up metal. What he witnessed was the crash of a twin-engined Beechcraft Baron. From the air, it appears the plane came down hard in an open field east of Smithville-Jacksonville Road. Momentum carried it across the pavement. Parts of the aircraft were ripped off as the plane buried itself into a wooded area and came to rest. At one point, after talking to 911, yeah. Garrett looked for survivors. Another man motioned to him. A uh, guy, a young guy, said, uh, pointed over here and back to the plane, and that's when I saw the one, uh, looked over the, looked at maybe the wing or something, but... The, the, there was right there was the dead body under the back of the tail. Police who are holding the scene for the NTSB said the plane had departed shortly before the crash from a local airfield. At this point, we could say there were two occupants in the aircraft, and both occupants were uh, pronounced deceased at the scene. We can confirm that the aircraft took off this morning from South Jersey Regional Airport in Lumberton at approximately 9 a.m. Well. The unidentified pilot of the Baron did file a flight plan. His intended destination was Hyannis, Massachusetts, on Cape Cod. An assigned NTSB administrator, excuse me, investigator is expected to be on the ground the next hour or so. He will begin the process of trying to determine what went wrong here. Live in Springfield Township, John Rawls, Channel 6, Action News. John. Thank you, John. Our coverage of the plane crash continues on the 6ABC app. You can find ongoing updates as we learn new details about this incident and video of the scene, of course, from Action News and Chopper 6.